Welcome back to uh, part three of the let's get the little truck running video series, I guess. I've done a good bit of work actually and I didn't film it, but I'm here to get you guys caught up on what has happened today, really. It's just been today. I've just done a couple little things. First off, I got the throttle moving a whole lot smoother. It's not tight anymore. This uh, pivot down here was just filled with really old grease and it's actually welded in. So there's a grease dirt right here, non-removable. And this right here is welded on, welded on the other side too. So can't really remove this bracket, but I did get it running smooth. The only thing I have to do is hook back up the linkage right there and that will be good to go. I've brushed off the contacts across the entire reset. Also, the gas pedal now has a, uh, a spring. It's making a noise because it's not connected right there, but I did get the throttle spring for it right here. That came in the mail today. I put all three batteries back in. I'd taken them out to test the batteries and to see if I could get it to work some other way. But I decided to put them back in because, uh, yeah, I was gonna try and get it to run again. Now the epiphany I just came to, uh, I've been trying to forward this whole time, nothing would happen at all. Popped it in reverse and it started to move. So I have, I have my forward reverse unit taken apart right here. And I realized that this is a non-conductive piece of fiberglass or ceramic or something. Well, whenever you put it into forward and it goes to make contact right here, it's actually not making contact. You can't really tell, but this is not making contact at all. These ceramic pieces are not in their slots. I think that's why it was so difficult to get in the other day. And I think that that is why it's not working. When you go to reverse, it actually is making contact with all of the correct stuff. So we can get an action shot of this thing switching. So reverse works great. Forward, it does not, let's see not making contact you can kind of see the gap right there so I'm gonna put this thing back together noticing that there's no gap right there and hopefully this thing will run So I've now taken apart the little movable piece inside the Ford Reverse. You can really see how the insulator is not lined up. It's supposed to be in a slot like up there. You can also see how the front plate is bent. This one, really the one on the back side is bent a lot further back. This one also bent a little bit. I think that might be why it's having trouble getting lined back up. Never mind, guys. I figured it out. Completely my doing. This red wire is the one I put on. That is the reason why it won't slide up all the way. This makes complete sense now. I'll loosen up this thing. Get these lined back up. Tighten it up. Put it together. This thing's going to run tonight, boys. Get everything hooked back up. Listen to this, guys. Solid. That is how it is supposed to feel. 
it was all mushy before. So a lot of confidence that it's gonna work this time, guys. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, get this thing backed up a little bit. Forward, engaged. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Let's try reverse again. Reverse. Reverse works. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> 